Okay, so we've been looking at line features. We're now going to look at what happens if we want to move off the line feature across country, basically. And that's about taking a bearing. So we're on a well-recognized point at the moment. This is a pass junction. And I want to go three or 400 meters away across the country through the heather to a stream junction, which I most definitely cannot see. Now in this visibility, I could probably set the map and have a very good idea where it is. But if certainly if we're in poorer visibility or nighttime or winter, maybe when a lot of the features are covered, then this is where a bearing becomes very useful. All right, so we're going to take a bearing from the path junction, which is here, and it's going to go across country to this stream junction here. So if I even just look at that route, it'll start, I might get a very slight rise over here, and then it'll be descending diagonally across the contour lines to that. There happens to be a knoll just behind the stream, so I should see that as well. But in very poor visibility, I might not see that, and I would consider aiming off, so I'd actually aim not for the junction, because of course if I hit a river, I don't really know whether to turn left or right to find the junction. So if I aim off down here, I can walk up until I find the junction. So to take the bearing, I put that onto there. I just use an arbitrary point, but it's probably about 100 meters south of the sorry, north of the junction there. And then I just turn this dial until the lines line up. The grid lines line with the capsule lines. And then I take the compass off and to walk on the bearing, that's where I turn this. Now I can also measure the distance and check the timing and pacing if I need to, particularly in poor weather, that might be worth doing. If I go too far, then I know that of course, once I've crossed the stream, I'll start to go uphill out of it. So that's my catching feature. Okay, so I've got uh, my bearing and I'm now trying to put that onto the ground and I can't see as far as the stream, which is probably about four or five hundred meters away. Um, so I've got to go to things that are online. And actually the first thing, there's some cotton grass down the bottom there. And then up on the horizon, I can see a slightly brown patch with a boulder to the left edge of it. So those are my first couple of points and I can re keep resetting the bearing on that. Never aim on sheep, clouds or people though. So here's my boulder. That's about 200 meters we've done. It's 800 meters altogether. Okay, I like to hold the compass up as high as I can reasonably do it, keeping the needle lined up. And I'm looking, this is lined on a little stone over there. And once I've got that as my target, I can actually put the compass away. I don't need to hold it there. I've got my sighted boulder and that's it. Off we go. Right, here we are. So I've used a couple more rocks and that's brought me to here. The ground has been doing what I expected because I looked at the contour and said you come up a bit, cross the flat area, and now I should be descending diagonally across the contours. I just sight with my compass again and yep, I've got two boulders down there, so I'm going towards those. Right, well I've reached the stream. And I'd aimed off, so I know that I really want to turn left and go up there. So just set my map to the, the stream. Compass, yeah, very good. There's the knoll behind that I said would be there. So it's up here to the junction. Well, here we are, reached the stream junction. And the way we've got there, we took a bearing from a known point. We aimed off for this junction. So I hit the stream a bit lower down and then walk my way up it. I didn't count paces or measure the distance particularly. I was aware it was about 800 meters. I didn't need to because it's such an obvious feature in the bottom of the valley here where the stream is. Um, but what I did do is I made sure that I read the contours and took a good judgment on the ground I was going over very slightly up along the flat and then diagonally down the contours to the stream. And I was aiming on little boulders as we went along to keep myself on a straight line.